Hello, welcome to the video on solving logarithmic equations. This is our first example set. Example set A, and uh, I'm assuming that you watched the lesson. And we're going to be doing these problems right here. And a couple things um, to stress. As I go over these problems, I'm going to be um, just taking a, a leap of faith that you've uh, mastered the properties of exponents and you're comfortable with um, um, a lot of the skills that you'll see you know me employ here um, if you're not and, and these are going to be a variety of skills solving equations um, you know working with exponents taking a log log equation turning it into an exponential equation so I'm gonna um, you know I'm gonna be going at, a, at such a pace where I'm not gonna be able to totally explain every single skill because uh, you know I'm gonna assuming that you already have these skills intact and um, the reason why I'm stressing this is that more often than not you know a lot of students you know have some weaknesses in a particular skill that's normal so make note of those things if you know you're you're struggling a little bit with a particular thing that I'm doing try to make note of it and definitely go back and review it okay so with that said hopefully you have your calculator let's go ahead and jump into these problems all right, so what's the main concept that we talked about over and over um, when it t comes to log equations? All right, when it comes to log equations, we're going to convert those into exponential equations and solve. Okay, so when you have a log equation, you're going to be working with exponents, and then the same is true um, if you have um, exponential equation, you're going to be using logarithms, okay, because they're inverse functions of one another. But before we can rewrite a log equation as an exponential equation, we must isolate the log portion. So in our first problem, you can see that the log portion is isolated. In other words, it's all by itself on one side of the equation, just as we have here. So why don't you go ahead and rewrite this as an exponential equation. All right, so this is a common log. Okay, it's just L-O-G, but it's always implied that there's that base 10 down there. So this is going to be 10 squared equals 5x. Right? So that's the equivalent exponential um, form of this log equation. So this should be pretty straightforward to solve for most of you out there. So this is going to be 10 squared is 100. So x will be equal to 20. Okay, so That's a nice simple problem to get us going. Let's take a look at the second one. So my question to you here is, do you think this log is isolated on the left-hand side of the equation? Okay, actually it's not. We have to do, we have to do something with this 2 here. And we have um, two different options, okay? I'm going to actually go through both just to demonstrate a point, okay? What property could you use to get rid of this 2 in front of the log? All right, I'm going to do this one first. You can move, this is log base 3. You can move this 2, that exponent, back up above the x. So this would be x squared. That's that power property we talked about. Okay, And that's going to be equal to 6. This would be a, um, an example of condensing a log expression. All right. So if you, you know, are a little bit uh, shaky on what I just did, you need to know the log properties, and you may want to go back and look at condensing. All right, But this would be an equivalent log equation. Now you have the log all by itself, nothing in front of it, isolated. So now go ahead and write yourself the equivalent um, exponential equation. So what you'll get is x squared equals 3 to the 6th power. Okay. This is the base. Remember bacon and eggs. So 3 to the 6th power is equal to x squared. So take a moment and solve that for x and I'll do the same. So 3 to the 6th power is 729. So x squared equals 729. And then to solve for x, we simply just take the square root of both sides. So the square root of 729 is, okay, so it's 27. All right. So there's our answer. Okay, x is equal to 27. So that's one one way of doing this problem. There's another way of doing this problem and both are equally correct. So I'm going to erase this. Okay, remember x was 27. 
Now, what we could have done is you have this 2 in front of the log base 3x equals 6. You can divide both sides of the equation by 2. Okay? And of course, when I do that, I get rid of the 2 in front of the log, and now I just have log base 3x equals 3. Okay? You see why that is? I just divided 2 by both sides of the equation. So this log equation is equivalent to this one right up here. So now when I write uh, this into exponential form, I get 3 cubed equals x, and of course x is equal to 27. All right? Obviously, this is, a, a, I think, an easier way of doing it. Two ways, two approaches. I think when, when possible, you might want to try to, um, to do these problems in this manner, divide both sides of the um, equation. But don't get too caught up in, a, in, in the problem where you're, you know, you're double, you know, questioning yourself. You know, just take a step, move, move towards isolating the log. Okay, that's the most important part, the log portion, and then creating that exponential equation. All right, so let's move on.